my friends, is a Mustang, and I'm very excited. Today's video is an advert for Drift CE. Big shout out to 505 Games for sponsoring this video. There is a link down below in the description to check out the game, so make sure you click that link. And to some of you, this game actually may look very similar. In fact, let me just let me just show you. Let me demonstrate what's going on here. This has already been converted to the Drift spec, a basic Drift spec. You might recognize it because this, my friends, is the console version of a little game known Drift 21, which I thought was one of the best Drift games I think I've ever actually played. So in that, this game is available on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and the Series X and S. And of course, if you want to play it on PC, it's Drift 21, Drift CE for the console. So anyway, the reason I thought this was one of the coolest, let me just show you. This is the engine. I'm actually going to click on the radial menu here and place it into the Mustang. You've got engine stands. You've got that one. <laughs> but essentially, you can build your car. You can take pieces off. Yeah, this is properly in detail. Of course, it's also licensed cars, which is really awesome. In fact, let me show you some of these cars right now. Here we go. The BMW E30. And across the top of the screen, you can see the cars we have available. We've got E36s, which are wildly known to be some of the best drift cars. That's why I've got one. This is pretty cool. It's got an RX-8, RX-7 as well, the MX-5. It's got the drift cars you kind of expect when it comes to drifting. How about a 180SX? Mwah. Of course, we're going to check out some of these cars, but I, built, I bought a Mustang because I think they're just so cool. But a Mustang? And would it be a drift game without the A86? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. We've got wings here to install too. The spoiler type 2, stage 3. Let's install that onto the Mustang. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, now this is sick. So I've gone onto the fender and now I can choose between these. I like this option here. Oh, you get a proper look at it. Definitely this one here. And you can replace the standard parts with some proper aftermarket ones. That is wide. You get the idea. This is properly detailed. <laughs> what a machine. <laughs> you can also jump in and choose some spacers. Oh, that's so useful. And some extra different wheels. I'm I feel in something, something like this. This is the Drifter 18 inch. Oh man, <laughs> this is so sick. This is genuinely though, what I've said for such a long time is, is it's kind of what I'm asking for. The ability to oh, build your own car in a garage like this, in a, in a game on console, in a game on PC is just so sick. And you actually then get to go out and actually slide the thing. But the thing is, I might spend all day doing this. And you've got all these tires to choose from. Going through all the parts. Look at all the parts available in this game. It is wild. I could spend so long in here. Now, just to be clear, where we are right now is just the sandbox mode. There is a campaign to play through and, of course, actual drifting in an arcade mode. Let's get these tires mounted and tires balanced. Man, this is so cool. <laughs> Something tells me we're going to need some spacers. Let's get some. What do we go for? 90 millimeter? That sounds perfect. <laughs> Let's put that on. Oh, yeah. That's what I like it. Let's get the seats in. We're going to go fruit salad all up in here. Yes, yes, yes. We can pick the shift knob as well. Oh, I forgot about that. Let's go for the blue. That actually looks really sick. It suits the Mustang. And then we need the drift stick. The handbrake. Let's... Uh, Plop that in. And the steering wheel. Oh, let's go, Mustang. Yes. Oh, that's cool. You put the ECU master screen in. Oh, that's so sick. And I almost completely forgot about aftermarket side skirts too. I'm gonna... I've got to step my game up. So once you're done with your car, you can go to press single player or go to multiplayer. I'm going to go with single player. And when you get to this menu, you can begin the setup of the event. You can choose location. Now, the locations are super sick. There's a brand new location here known as Haruna Mountain, which is pretty sick. We've got Ebisu in here, which is awesome. We'll obviously be checking this out. We've got the type of mode as well. You can do free ride. That sounds good to me. Multiplayer is up to four players, so you can drift around with your friends, but I've got early access so. now this is really cool if you accidentally try to join and your car isn't really set up they've made it really easy so if you go press check car it tells you what's missing and you click on it and there you go straight away you get the option so i'm gonna go for the six speed v8 gearbox really really nicely there oh and we can can we just plop it in through the car <laughs> get that car up on the lift grab the gearbox like i am mega strong i am and plop it 
just there. Very epic. Oh, and we also are missing an exhaust. So let's let's quickly install that. <laughs> that would be useful. <laughs> I mean, we don't need it, right? It's just an exhaust. It's an afterthought. It's a total afterthought. Just not necessary. It basically took you to this car parameters section so you can do more to the car. But I just noticed as well, you can run a dyno and see what it's like. You can also go to stage tuning and start equipping things. You've got things, for example, the exhaust manifold. That's probably important. Let's put one of those on. But you've also got things like turbos to install as well. I'm going to be, I, I say spending all my money, but <laughs> we're in like a sandbox mode. So I'm spending no money. <laughs> add a little bit more speed and power to my machine. I've got to add all the piping on as well. Again, it makes it nice and easy by just clicking on it. And if you have the part, it'll apply it, which sandbox mode again would make that super convenient. Out with the old and in with the new. Here we go. Uh, very nice. Take off that old manifold, prepare it for a big sodden turbo it's exactly what you want i haven't even driven the thing standard yet and i'm already ready to throw on a big turbo there we go and on the side of it oh, ho, ho, ho. and i've also just realized there's different types of turbo i'm gonna go for the type five <laughs> this means taking this one off off with you there we go another type five and put everything back on again. <laughs> Install the blow-off valve. So you can see there's small little details that you have to put in. Well, they're here very clearly. And I am all for it. This is exactly the type of game we were just... As I said, I was thinking of for so long. Can we remove that air filter and put a new one on? Oh, go on. Ooh. <laughs> all right, now it must be ready. And here we are in the actual gameplay. Giving it a skit. So you've got a static camera like this, which is a little bit jarring. It's kind of odd, but you do also have the ability to go to this camera here. Oh my God, that was so good. I'm here pressing circle for handbrake. It's X. That would, that would explain it. You've got a proper drift camera, which is super helpful. You've got this hood cam to all oh, the pops. You've got this hood cam and also a dynamic hood cam as well which I actually really do like. It kind of reminds me of a, like a GoPro when you see that. <laughs> you got the interior view as well, which actually you have a few options here. You've got the one with the wheel. You've got the one without the hands. Oh, <laughs> he's doing it. Oh no. He was, he was kind of doing it. And finally you have the one without the wheel at all. So you can, you, if you got the monitor perfectly in line with your, you, you get the idea. This is the option if you want no wheel spinning about on your screen. Skip. Oh, that's. Oh, it's a little bit messy, but you know what? I'm taking it. Never mind. Jumping to another test location. Let's give it a good old skid. Now, I'm actually still in auto. So please. <laughs> judge it based on that which should mean well it's a little bit more difficult actually and i'm actually doing a pretty decent job anywho one thing i did want to check we were just in the sandbox mode the whole time we've got quick race and multiplayer which is pretty cool and the career mode this is where you start drifting and building up and making money i had access to essentially everything uh, you would not if you did the career so that's the progression and it starts you off in a nice little tutorial to test your skills you can choose your steering style you can play around with it oh my goodness what are we even in oh oh that is nice let's get it going whoa Whoa, this is what a proper setup drift car is like compared to what we just built. <laughs> of course, I didn't touch suspension. I didn't touch really anything. This is so much better than my car. <laughs> this is so much better. Still pressing circle for the handbrake. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to do that again. I think I could do better than that. Come on, retry, retry. No, he won't let me retry. I promise I could do better. I lied. It's letting me. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, maybe, maybe I'm a bit too confident. Handbrake. <laughs> the best drift game is now available on console. It's just the way it is. <laughs> I completely forgot there's also the angle kit parts. You can see them installed there. 
that was 600 points. Then that was was that better or worse? I don't know. I think the, the target is what 30. The Subaru you drove was heavily modified. Yep. And then we get to the MX-5. This ah. Uh, <laughs> There's our first drift car. I'm genuinely tempted. Should, should we play this on stream? Should we keep going? Should we build this up? Let me know by smashing that like button, subscribing if you're new, and check out the game at the link in the description, as I mentioned before. And in case, as a throwback, here's the Drift 21 video that I did. Pretty cool. Smash like, subscribe, and peace.